so people can listen. Um, I know a lot of people in other states who would attend the church if they weren't in another state. <laughs> so, um, why not give those people a service too? And uh, hello. Okay. Wanda, can I just say something sure. for a, a few minutes? Um, Ted, we, we are so gifted to have him uh, as our videographer because uh, he's had so much experience. And um, the thing that Wanda so gently reminded me, which I totally forgot, was that because we are a nonprofit, anything that is taped inside the church belongs to the church. So that the, all the speakers that will be here were basically our goal is to take them and to put this on the website because effectively this will help Get. I mean, Wanda has an international clientele, so this will help spread rays of healing around the world. Plus, the messages that, that come here to the church are inspired messages. I don't care who's, who's up here speaking, you know. Um, so, but the, there are certain services, I mean, there are, there are a lot of expenses associated with the camera. First of all, the camera alone was 500 600. Six. $600. And then there's going to be another additional $400 in periphery um, equipment by the time we finish. And then there's ongoing maintenance um, and expenses uh, for the uh, just, uh, you know, the er everything involved with the uh, videography because it's, it's not exactly that simple of a process. It's a little bit more complicated. And even though we absolutely appreciate what Ted does, we also would like to compensate him um, for it. So um, that means our expenses will be going up considerably. But uh, anyway, so far we're, we have had the money to buy the camera with no problem. And now we're you know, hoping to uh, get additional monies for the, uh, the rest. So we're very appreciative of all your contributions. And uh, I should add to that that none of the ministers of the church have ever been compensated for any time they ever stood up here and talked. All of us are volunteers, but we do compensate our secretary, and, and we will be compensating Ted for doing this work. So uh, we're completely a nonprofit. We're totally based on people's offerings that goes to pay the rent. It goes so that we can meet. It goes to pay expenses like our ordinations when we ordain ministers, of which we have 30, uh, 31, I think, well, ministers. Soon to be 31. Yes, yeah, soon to be 31. Two minister candidates. Right. And uh, which, by the way, Alice, I need recommendation letter for Gina. Okay. And. Um, Gina, I need a letter stating why you want to be a minister. Okay. And then um, I'll get one from Dale for the people that he's nominated. Okay. Um, those ministers are um, busy doing healing work for people. They're healing ministers. That's what we ordain them to be. And we are a church and a nonprofit corporation, and we are... Um, legally able by the state to ordain ministers, both uh, because we put it in our articles of incorporation and because um, we are a legal entity. So for people who didn't know that, we wanted to let you know that. Uh, but again, none of the speakers who ever comes here, and Alice, I, I make four presentations a month at the various churches. And none of us have ever received any compensation for that. We just, um, it's volunteer. And so every time you see somebody up here talking, they're talking from their heart to you and for no other reason. Um, I'll take that back. We did compensate one person. One time. One time. One time we compensated a right. person. But having it taped, and, and uh, I know when Ted researched this, he spent almost a month, if not two, researching the best camera for us. So I know that, that when we went and purchased this, it was the best for the dollar. Yes. Yeah. 
And the other thing about it is because this will belong to the church, no individual can put it on their own website or use it in that way. It, it's a product of the corporation. It's a product of the church. And therefore, legally, it, it cannot be used, it cannot be commingled with a person's private practice or something like that. Um, because uh, in a nonprofit, if you're on the board of directors, for instance, or the CEO or the treasurer, as Alice is, um, you cannot then commingle what you do privately with what you do for the corporation. So, a um, lot of legalities involved in that, and another reason that it will stay separate. Um, so, we're not doing it for us, we're doing it for the people who would attend if they could, people who are sick, people who, um, I have, there are a lot of people in Georgia and places like uh, California and uh, Massachusetts, I know who would, uh, Kansas City, who would be attending if they could. I have one in Norway that would love to watch it and uh, she's a regular client and uh, Norway's so pretty. <laughs> Is so pretty. She has a son named Thor. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> and I have a client in Greece that would be ecstatic yeah. to be able to tune into a service. So, so it's, um, it's for those people and also in case you miss one. But we also want to provide it to the other branches. Um, a lot of the people at the other branches don't have four services a, a month like we do. They only have two. Uh, so for them, it would be nice to also be able to tune in, particularly like the people in Atlanta who don't even get a presentation. Their service is all about giving healing, and that's all they do in their services, give healing to people, so they don't have a presentation at all. So uh, lots of reasons that we're doing this, all having to do with helping people. Thank you, and thank you. Alice, our treasurer, who's always looking out for us. Mm -hmm.